Tonight, Israel has been attacked by the Iranian regime. You'll be seeing pictures on the screen as I'm talking showing the missile attack, um, as well as even the Western Wall, um, where the missiles were, f were flying over Jerusalem. This was an attack by the Iranian regime, the IRGC, Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps, has claimed responsibility for this attack. Um, there have been a number of people who have been injured. We're not entirely sure exactly how many exactly or how many have been killed, if anyone. Uh, but this was a big attack, 150 plus ballistic missiles. And at the same time as being attacked by Iran, there were two gunmen who went on a uh, killing spree in Jaffa. Two Islamist terrorists killed at least six people in Jaffa and wounded many others. So this is, you know, a very uh, big attack by Iran. Israel is absolutely going to respond to this. So this is likely the start of something else. So we really need to be praying for Israel right now. We need to be praying for protection over the Jewish people. Uh, we need to be praying for all of the families who are being forced to seek shelter, who are, you know, fearing for their lives, especially, you know, the children who are going to be fearful. There's, you know, millions of Israelis who are forced into shelter this evening. Uh, we also need to pray for all of those who have been injured. Um, we need to pray for the emergency services in Israel who are responding to these attacks. Um, and also for the IDF, um, who are defending Israel. Uh, also, remember to pray for the families of those who have lost loved ones. I mean, there's another six families, at least, who have been affected tonight with with just needless killing because of the anti-Semitic hatred that there is towards the Jewish people. So, as Watchmen on the Walls, as Christians who love Israel, uh, we need to keep praying, pray for all the families, um, pray for Israel. Remember, it is God himself who said that he will not keep silent for Zion's sake. And as Christians, we need to love the things of God and to not keep silent for Zion's sake ourselves. So do not hold your peace. Pray for Israel. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And yeah, this is a, definitely a time where the watchmen on the walls have to stand up and use their voices.